Hi, we're going to be doing another one of these filter problems. So this time we're doing uh, this one, extra problem number two. And we've got a different circuit, but we've got a similar task to what we had in the last one with a little bit of extra stuff. Find the minus 3 dB frequency or frequencies. So first step is to figure out what type of filter it is by inspection. And the key is to look at the frequency extreme. So at extremely low frequency, we've got a, an open circuit right here and we've got a short circuit right here. So we've got a higher impedance on the input. This is ignorable and we've just got 1K there. And then we've got zero ohms over here. So you've got a short on the output, high impedance input. And this means that we've got no response. Now at really high frequency, something different happens. So now this is an open circuit. The inductor acts like an open at high frequencies while the capacitor acts like a short. So we've got zero and this high impedance on our voltage divider. So this is not going to matter. It's just going to be this one in parallel with that for a 50. So 50 divided by zero plus 50 is going to be hundred percent. So we're going to have all the gain at really high frequency. So that means that if we have no response at low frequency, hundred percent response at high frequency, this is a gain of one high pass filter. Now this is actually a uh, a second order high pass filter because you've got two things that are making it high pass. So the capacitor by itself would make it a high pass filter and the inductor by itself in this configuration would make it a high pass filter. Um, and since we have both of them, this is a second order high pass filter. We're going to expect going to um, something that's only passing the high frequencies, scaling like omega squared in this as a result of the combination of these two effects together. So now let's find the transfer function. And the transfer function is going to be H. Again, from we can get it just from a voltage divider. That's uh, Z, maybe we'll call this um, the outside, or maybe Z, hmm, yeah, Z, uh, maybe Z bot. That's a good way to put it. Z bot over Z bot plus Z um, top, and these things. So Z bot is going to be the inductor impedance in parallel with these other elements. So let's maybe just rewrite this as one plus Z top over Z bot. And then maybe we'll end up multiplying by this again later if we, uh, if we need to. So that's one over one plus Z top is Z C in parallel with R four. And on the bottom we've got Z L in parallel with, uh, we can just do R1 in parallel with R3 right away and call that 50 ohm. So then ZC in parallel with R4 should be equal to one over one over ZC plus one over R4. And then same thing here. We've got one over one over ZL plus one over 50 ohm. So maybe we can rearrange things a little bit right away and just call this inverted, uh, something inverted like that. Okay, great. Now we can substitute in the impedances and the, and the other resistance. So one over R4 is one over one K, one kilo ohm. 1 over ZC is J omega C, and 1 over ZL is 1 over J omega L. Okay. Now we've got a few different fractions and fractions, so maybe we want to multiply everything by this J omega C to clean that up. So we're going to have a J omega C over there and over there, and then we can multiply Let's just, why don't we call this a step so it doesn't get too uh, confusing to read. Then we can multiply everything by J omega L to clean, uh, to get rid of that part. And so that means we're going to have a J omega L over 50. We're going to have a J omega L times this one over there. And then same stuff in the, in the numerator. Is that better? I wonder if that's better. Might be better. Okay. So... Anyway, right now we should be able to see the high pass nature of this filter. And yeah, so we've got all terms in the numerator having at least one omega in them. 
in it. So we've got uh, one omega here, and we've got two omegas in this term. So this is going to be an omega squared. And then in the denominator, we have a term, this one right here, that doesn't scale with omega. So that just is a, is a one, which means as omega goes to infinity, we're going to have the, uh, the numerator going to j squared omega squared LC and the denominator going to the same thing. So we've got our gain of one at high frequencies. At really low frequencies, numerator goes to zero, but the denominator doesn't. So we've got uh, we've got that gain uh, going to zero there. So that's the high pass nature of this filter, passing only high frequencies, blocking the low frequencies. So to figure out the, uh, the 3 dB frequency, we're going to need to know where it is that uh, the magnitude of H has scaled to 1 over root 2 of the maximum magnitude. And the, the maximum magnitude of the gain would be the gain at infinite frequency. So we, we already figured that out. In this case, that's just 1 over root 2 of 1. So we're looking for where this gain has a magnitude of 1 over root 2. So let's take the magnitude of our gain function. And we've got um, this expression here. So we'll say the magnitude of uh, h. Actually, before we do that, let's just clean this up a little bit. So the numerator here, we can combine the, the j's together and that j squared omega c will be negative omega squared uh, c times times the l that we had there and then plus j omega l over 1k okay and then same thing for this denominator term for that yeah and then we can combine the real and the imaginary parts um, sort of or rather collect the real and the imaginary parts together so we might kind of write the denominator in a form where they're collected as well. So that's going to be 1 minus omega squared LC there. And then we've got the imaginary part here. Actually, we have a, a J omega L for both of those. So maybe we'll factor all of that out and just have 1 over 1K plus 1 over 50 ohms. OK. Great. So then we are now in a good position to be able to take the magnitude. So the magnitude of H should then be equal to, uh, and uh, the, the magnitude of this, you can take the magnitude in the numerator and divide that by the magnitude in the denominator, and that'll still be the total magnitude. So that'll be the root of uh, omega squared LC all squared plus omega L over 1 kilo ohm squared over root of 1 minus omega squared LC. We've got a rogue plus symbol over there we can get rid of. All squared plus omega L times, oh, and we're missing a, a 1 over for that part, yeah, times uh, 1 over 1 kilo ohm plus 1 over 50 ohms, all squared. And what we're looking for is where this whole thing is equal to 1 over root 2. So what we can do is set that this equals 1 over root 2 at the, at the frequency that we're looking for. So at the minus 3 dB frequency, and we only really expect one for a high pass filter, we should have the whole thing equaling one over root two. So that means after we rearrange things a bit, we could uh, square both sides to get rid of the root symbols. And that should be one over two. And um, multiply both sides by the denominator and maybe multiply by the 2. So cross multiply then 
we can collect some terms here and uh, and have some stuff cancel and we'd expect still to get only one solution so we can sort of see some of that stuff happening here so this is going to be first of all uh, a function in omega squared rather than an omega so if we solve for omega squared that's that's all good too there's no problem with that and let's see what to do next? Probably expand this one out. And that's going to be 1 minus 2 omega squared LC plus uh, omega, omega squared LC all squared. And then we have an omega squared LC all squared over here. And we're going to have something similar happening for this omega L over 1K. So this omega squared lc all squared after we subtract it from both sides we're going to have a uh, just a factor of one for that and then for this part we can expand out this square term as well um, although you know at this stage i think probably we're better off just rather trying to simplify it too much we may as well just substitute in the l and the c that we've got and then uh, calculate everything out because this is a, a quadratic in omega squared so now we can use the quadrat we've gotten we've simplified it enough that we've gotten to the point where it's just a, uh, a something that we can use the quadratic formula on so in fact why don't we just go back to right here and then start um, substituting things in so in particular we can jump right to uh, right to this line in our calculator and that'll be l is equal to 0.1 c is equal to um, 1 e minus 6 and we've got then the equation says 2 times um, let's just use w uh, no let's use omega Omega squared times L times C squared plus 2 times omega times L over 1e3 squared is equal to 1 minus omega squared whoops, times L times C. And that's all squared plus omega times L times 1 over 1e3 plus 1 over 50 all squared. Okay, so there's our equation, and then we can um, we can simplify it, and we should. We've got these e minus fourteen times omega to the four terms e minus eight. It doesn't seem to, yeah. So it's just an equation. It's it's keeping one side on the other side, uh, one, the the left hand side altogether and the right hand side altogether. But we can try to solve this for omega, and we found um, a number of different roots here. However, these two are imaginary, so those aren't the ones that we're looking for. We're looking for a real frequency. Whoops. Uh, yeah, so we're looking for a real frequency, and that means we're looking for the uh, 2475 uh, rad per second. So let's. Uh, so that that's the one we're looking for. That should be our 3 dB frequency. So what we can do to to verify that 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 actually worked, maybe we'll just um, copy this over here, and say uh, maybe we'll put a. Oh, yeah. So the minus 3 dB frequency should be 2475 rad per second and let's check that all of that um, all of that worked out so a couple one one direct way to do that is to jump all the way over to um, so we could we could type this whole expression into into maple and like resolve this uh, this ratio or we could confirm our work for right now in uh, in multisim. So here's this circuit. 
Uh, let's add our bode plotter, this one. At our input and output. And so indeed, high pass filter. And we expect that, so 2475 rads divided by 2 times 3.14159 should give us 3259 hertz for the uh, 3db frequency. So let's check. If we were to go to Three point two K looks pretty close. Maybe we'll zoom in so that we can see this a bit better. Let's go from one kilohertz to uh, also in kilohertz, five kilohertz, and now we'll see if we can set it to about three point two kilohertz. Yeah, there's our minus three dB frequency. So we did it. We found our three dB frequency. We found that it's a, a high pass filter. We calculated it all, it all out. We used uh, a calculator to substitute in the numbers once we'd worked it to a quadratic formula form. And and that's it. That's analysis of this particular filter circuit. Thanks for watching.